And now we will learn how to customize forms in QuickBooks. And for attorneys, this means creating a retainer receipt. Transaction documents include things like estimates, invoices, sales receipts, credit memos, and even other things like checks and bills and this type of thing. And we've all dealt with these types of documents before. QuickBooks allows you to edit the way these look so you can customize them for yourself, even if you're not a law firm. There are many things you can edit in these documents. You can edit the columns. You can edit the positions of the fields, like where does the address show up? Where does the client's name show up? Where do you put the date? You can add or remove fields of information based on your company or your firm's specific needs. You could even put a company logo on any of these documents that I've been speaking about. However, if you are a law firm, a credit memo is really a retainer receipt. And when a client pays you retainer, which means it's money in advance before you perform the service, they have a credit balance with you. That's why you might call it a retainer receipt, but QuickBooks knows it's a credit memo because when you give it to the customer, the customer paid you in advance, you owe the customer a future service, and the customer has a credit balance. You can explore other possible changes that you would like to make for your law firm in any of the open windows that we will explore as we do this. Now, there are three steps to making a new template. First, you have to make a copy of the existing template. So let's go to QuickBooks and let's do this. Customers, and then we'll find Create Credit Memo Refund. Click here. Now notice this says credit memo, and this behaves as a typical QuickBooks document would. Okay, we can remove the ribbon, we can open a panel on the right, which I will explain about later on, something nice and handy. Okay, but right here, the most important thing is where it says template. Now, QuickBooks comes with several templates for each of the different types of transaction documents that I mentioned earlier. Even though it's still a credit memo, you could choose this template and simply the words would change. Return receipt. Notice even some of the columns and some of the columns heading change. Look, the credit memo template is here. There's a purchase order number. Return receipt. It's now a rep. So you could put whatever fields you want on your credit memo, but in the title bar, it'll always still say credit memo refund. Now, the way to get into the windows that allow you to make your own and then edit this is in the ribbon. Click Formatting, click Manage Templates, and now you are in the Manage Templates window. Now you saw there were only two existing templates that QuickBooks gave you. In order to make your own, you have to click Copy. So pick one that's the closest to the one you want and click Copy. Once you copy, you will see there are now three on the list, and one of them says copy of the other one. That one is yours. Click on it so it's selected, then come to the right and name it what you want it to be named. In this case, we want to name it Retainer Receipt, because this is what we will give to the client when they pay in advance. And then click OK. We show up here at the basic customization window, and you can explore and experiment changing the look of your credit memo, you know, changing the look of your retainer receipt. You can explore clicking here and inputting your company logo and so forth. But the place we need to change is right up here in the top right. We need to change the word credit memo to retainer receipt. In order to do that, we click Additional Customization, and again, you can explore and experiment with all of the different options in this window. 
we will only click the header tab and change the default title from credit memo to retainer receipt. Then when we click OK, we click OK. This is just telling you about another feature called the Layout Designer, which is down here, which gives you the ability to even make further customization. So we click OK, and click OK again, and click OK a third time, and now we have this template, Retainer Receipt. So if we want it to say Credit Memo, we choose this. But if we want it to say Retainer Receipt, when clients pay us in advance for services we will give them, we will choose this template.